And so, folks, just with some last-minute instructions underway, we're ready to move now into our 2021 Bonanza. We're Hereford, the show. Commercial show. If you're marking a show program on this very first class, class number 13, please note that entry number 650 is not in this class. That is a yearling steer, so we're going to see it in class number 18. So you can just move entry number 650 into class 18, leaving us with the two calves. Entry 650 weighs 464 pounds. Entry number 652 weighs 475 pounds. And Judge Nakona Brost, your class is complete. Once again, digging into the resource group that are Bonanza alumni. Our Judge Nakona Brost grew up on a ranch north of Irvine, raising polled and horned Hereford cattle alongside her parents at Brost Land and Cattle Company. She was actively involved in the Irvine 4 H Beef Club as well as the Canadian Junior Hereford Association and the Alberta Junior Hereford Association, attending many summer events, including Bonanza. She currently works full-time as a pharmacy technician in Medicine Hat at Greg's Remedies. And when she isn't working in town, she's at home helping out on the ranch or helping local 4-H kids with showmanship and grooming clinics or judging achievement days. In her spare time, she enjoys playing ringette, golfing, team roping, or playing softball. Another one of our great former Bonanza exhibitors made good in their adult life we're very happy to have Nakona Bros from Medicine Hat judging our commercial show in the steers this afternoon at Bonanza 2021. Many thanks to Steve, her ringman, as well as Doug and Chad continuing to marshal out back. And we're ready with comments now from Judge Brost. Folks, here's Nakona. Well, I started this class off with this young man here who has a very powerful uh, steer calf already. Um, two calves that were very close in weight, um, about three weeks apart. This first place calf um, has tremendous muscle already and has a ton of potential in his growth. Um, the second place calf, same thing. They're going to make two heck of steers for these two kids. I'd just like to see at this point this calf a little bit thicker, but who knows, he could be going through a growth stage, growth stage at this point. So good job to both you juniors. Thank you to Judge Brost, and congratulations to Shelton Grabler. Entry 651, his calf Diesel is our steer calf champion, sponsored by the Canadian Hereford Association. Ruby Fellauer with Joker, entry number 652, is our reserve, receiving the award sponsored by the Canadian Hereford Digest. Congratulations, Shelton Grabler and Diesel, our champion steer calf, sponsored by Canadian Hereford Association. Our reserve joker from Ruby Fellauer and the Canadian Hereford Digest sponsored reserve championship. We now move into our commercial female show. So we'll be looking at the heifer calves, the yearling heifers, and the cow calf pairs before we get into our championship. 
Leading the way, of course, our heifer calves. Class of two for Judge Brost. This will double as a championship class. So first will become our heifer calf champion, sponsored by Exports International. And our reserve, second place, receives the award sponsored by Lewis Agencies. And with comments now on the Heifer Calf Championship, folks, our Judge Brost. Job well done to these two young members. Um, I started this class off with a younger Heifer Calf, just a fancy little Heifer Calf already. Um, she's very feminine into her front end, very straight over that top line, just really caught my eye as soon as she walked in. And the second place female um, has a little bit of age on this other Heifer Calf, but Overall, very long body, deep female. I just like to clean her up in that front end a little bit, but is going to do a tremendous job for this young man. Great job, guys. Thank you, Nakona. First place and our Exports International sponsored Heifer Calf Champion is Mucky from Ava Mackey. She receives the award from Rod and Christy Guilford of Crystal City, Manitoba and Exports International and Shelton Grabler receives the Reserve Heifer Calf Champion Award from Lewis Agencies. Congratulations, Shelton, on your Reserve, and Ava on your Champion. We'll be seeing the Heifer Calf and the Reserve Heifer Calf Champion back in a couple classes' time when Nakona goes to declare her Champion and Reserve Champion commercial female. Now a class of five yearling heifers. This will double 
as our yearling heifer champion and reserve champion. First place in this class will become the yearling heifer champion and move on to our grand champion drive and be sponsored by Bullseye Mineral, that's Tom McNeely and team. And the reserve, also advancing, will be receiving the prizes from your local ranch and Hanson Bell L Ranches, that's Wayne and Rhonda Hanson and family of Airdrie, Alberta. And we do have a scratch. If you're marking a show program, please scratch entry number 655. Please scratch entry number 655. Jesse Kopelchuk. Comments now from Nakona Brost on her commercial yearling class. An exceptional class of females here. Um, I started this class off with this black white faced heifer, a female that really caught my eye when she came in. Very feminine, clean into that front end, lots of springer rib. A female that I, I really admire for her, her frame and the way she gets out and moves. 
second place female follows up with that first place female quite closely. Um, I just like to see her a little bit um, bigger, super topped. Uh, a female that I really, really like as well, just um, lacking a little bit compared to the female in first place. The third place female, a female I kind of struggled with a little bit. Um, I just find her a little bit over conditioned for me today, but overall, uh, her udder is coming in nicely. She's going to make an exceptional cow for this young lady. And the female that rounded out this class, once again, I just like to see her a little bit bigger. She has a lot of springer rib, um, long bodied, but another very exceptional female. So well done to all these juniors. Thank you, Nakona. First place honors go to Remital W. Marvel, 6H. Entry number 659 is our class winner and our yearling heifer champion receiving the Bull's Eye Mineral, Tom McNeely and team sponsored champion yearling heifer award. Second place for Zachary Latimer. For second place goes to Levi Rimke, entry number 656 with RCC Starstruck 79. That is our second place as well as reserve champion yearling heifer receiving the award sponsored by Wayne and Rhonda Hansen and family of your local ranch and Hansen Bell L Ranches. If you're marking your show program on that yearling heifer class, entry number 655 is a scratch. 656 is second and will be advancing to our champion drive. 657 is fourth, 658 third, and 659 first in class. Advancing once again to our champion drive. Into the ring now is our class of three cow-calf pairs. You have two two-year-olds and one three-year-old. And Judge Nakona Brost, your class is complete. First place in this class will be receiving the Canadian Hereford Association Awards and reserve champion the awards from Pew Farms. That's Jim and Linda, Greg and Amanda and Neil of Edgerton, Alberta. Starting in the business in 1910, Pew Farms sponsoring our reserve champion award. And following this class will be our grand champion female drive.
And on our production class, the Cowcalf Pears, comments from our judge. I started this class off with this really nice female. Um, she has a tremendous udder, nice teat size, and doing one heck of a job on that bull calf. I really like his length of body and his depth of size. Female that's doing one heck of a job. Um, female in second place. Um, same thing, I'd just like to see a little bit more frame on that cow, but another exceptional udder and doing a great job on that calf in front of her. And the third place cow, same thing, um, rounding off our class, another female that i just like to um, feminine up in the front end a little bit, but overall doing a great job on that calf in front of her. Good job, guys. Thank you, Nakona. First place in our class and our champion receiving the Canadian Hereford Association Award is Kylie Bellamy with entry number 660, Cal and Olivia 1G with her all of her calf aside. And second place and our reserve champion cow calf pair sponsored by Pew Farms, Jim and Linda, Greg and Amanda and Neil at Edgerton, Alberta going to Gertrude with Joker at side from Ruby Fellauer. And in third spot, also Ruby Fellauer with entry number 662. So entry 660 and 661 will be coming right back in for our Grand Champion Commercial Female Class. And this class is actually sponsored by the Canadian Junior Hereford Association. And as they come back in, folks, we will reintroduce you to our contenders. Our heifer calf champion is entry number 653, Maki, from Ava Mackey. And our reserve is entry number 654, Daisy, from Shelton Grabler. Our yearling heifer champion is from Zachary Latimer, entry number 659, Remitol W. Marvel, 6H. And our reserve yearling champion, entry number 656, RCC Starstruck 79H from Levi Rimke. And then our champions that were just declared, our cow-calf champions. Champion is Cal and Olivia 1G and Oliver, entry number 660 from Kylie Bellamy. And Ruby Fellauer with entry 661 is reserve with Gertrude and Joker. Judge Nakona Brost of Medicine Hat, Alberta, this is your Grand Champion Commercial Female Drive, sponsored by Canadian Junior Hereford Association. Comments from our judge on her champion female class. I think we just need to give a round of applause to these juniors for um, bringing these females out in the summertime. Um, I know that's never fun. So round of applause to the juniors for a job well done. 
Um, I will go out and pick my grand first and then my reserve, but just two females that I find that I could take home and would fit into my program at home. Um, females that are feminine, long-bodied, deep, that are going to be able to handle our dry conditions down in the south. Um, so job well done to everyone, and thank you. Thank you, Nakona. Looking for our Grand and Reserve Grand Champion commercial female here in the Copper Creek Ranch ring. And it's going to be entry number 659, Zachary Latimer with Remital W. Marvel 6H. Entry 659 is our Grand Champion Commercial Female. And our Reserve Junior Champion or Reserve Yearling Champion becomes our Reserve Grand Champion. Entry number 656, Levi Rimke with RCC Starstruck 79H. Congratulations to our Yearling Heifer Champion and Reserve Champion as they go Grand and Reserve Grand of our commercial show for Zachary Latimer with entry 659 and Levi Rimke with entry 656. We move now, folks, into the always popular steer component. But first we'll go off for pictures. So we'll get our pictures of our Grand and Reserve Grand Champion females, and then we'll roll in with class number 17, our Hereford Influence Steer.
I'll wait to see your golden smile Feel of a thousand kisses Hope to stay a while I'll reach up to hold your sunlit face Feels like a And now folks coming into the ring is class number 17. This is our market steer show. There are four entries in this class. Actually, three entries in this class. And first will become our Hereford Influence Market Steer Champion, sponsored by Ultra Beef. That's Sherry Leachman's ultrasound service from Maidstone, Saskatchewan. And second place will be our reserve for sponsored by Batho Farms, that's Ron and Sheila Batho of Oak Lake, Manitoba, who have been involved with raising Hereford cattle since 1942. And so there are some changes from your show program. Entry number 700 is in the ring and weighs 1,365 pounds. Entry number 701 is a scratch. Entry number 702 is here, weighing 1,345 pounds. Entry number 703 is here, but actually moved to class 18, which will be our straight bred Hereford steer class, so you're not seeing 703 in this class. 704 is a scratch, and then 705 is here, and weighing 1,350 pounds. So your contenders in this class of Hereford influenced steers are entries 700, 702, and 705.
Johnny went out walking and he hitched for a ride. He came across a pretty girl who took him inside. Johnny asked the pretty girl if he could take her hand. She became his wife and they bought a piece of land. Well, they raised up a family and they raised up And ready for comments on this first class of our finished ears from our judge. Wow. Um, I just said to these kids, I said, I, we should have started here because then maybe my words would have started to flow a little bit better and I wouldn't have sounded like I was stuttering so bad at the beginning. Good job to you guys for holding these steers all the way till the end of July. Um, all three said they were their 4-H steers, so that is very impressive to hold them this long for the weather and it being hot, and so job well done. But I had to start the class off with this steer. Um, just very stylish, um, clean-fronted steer. A steer that really he came to the top of the class quite easily I just like to smooth him out over that top line he starts to get a little, little bit roachy over to the back end but a steer that's uh, got a lot of meat and muscle and is very exceptional and the second place steer buddy he, you had me right at the beginning for a steer as the s big as he is he's holding it all together he's got a lot of meat a lot of muscle he holds it all together very well um, he's solid all the way through very long bodied steer I just like to widen him up over the top and the third place steer, another very exceptional steer. Just doesn't quite follow up with the, the first place steer as well. A little bit narrow into his back end, but a steer that has a lot of middle and lots of shape to him as well. Job well done, guys. Thank you, Nakona. First place honors in this class goes to Hosier. Entry number 705 from Kaylee Worsta. Hosier is our Hereford Influence Market Steer Champion and will be advancing to our Grand Champion Market Steer class in the first place position from the Hereford Influence class. Also advancing in second place will be Cole Hewitt's entry number 700, Rocky. He'll be receiving the award from Batho Farms. And in third place, Sugar Cube entry 702 from Kennedy Mans. Now we have the five head class for straight bred Hereford steer. The three entries that are in your show program are all here. 706, weighing 1,415 pounds. 707, weighing 1,433. 708, weighing 1,600. But then we'll be adding entry number 703, who was brought over from class number 17. This is Gavin Flex calf that weighs 1339. And then we also have entry number 700 brought over from that steer calf class that is entry number 650 for Andrew Charlton weighing 1320 pounds. And so the way they've actually come into the ring is entry 650 followed by entry 700 seven, 703 and then 706 707 and 708 so Judge Brost your straight bred Hereford steer class is complete
hold a pretty girl, darling, I love you so. She looked back at Johnny and said, Johnny boy, I know, I know. And we all shine a light, little darling. We all want someone. Folks, I think when you have the opportunity to look at these five straight red Hereford steers in July, a bit of an unusual time to have fat steers still ready. And know that these are straight bred Herefords. I think all you got to do is be able to think yourself, isn't it great to be a Hereford breeder? Johnny went out one day with a shotgun by his side. His family they didn't trust him to keep him all alive. He stumbled upon a black bear and knocked down his gun. Johnny couldn't reach it, so he fixed up to run. The bear caught up to Johnny, knocked him to the ground. Johnny thought of his little girl and he beat that bear down. Well, the moral of the story, if there's a woman by his side, there's nothing that a man will do just to stay alive, stay alive. All shine a light, little darling. We all want someone. We're all afraid of tomorrow, just a little. We all dance circles around the sun. And we all shine a light, little darling. We all want someone. We're all afraid of tomorrow, just a little. We all dance circles around the sun till it's done. And you're the one. Our sponsor for first place in this class, which is also our champion, is Pine Butte Ranch. That's Hugh McLucky, Lynette, and Logan Van Steen. Van Steenberg from Cranbrook, BC. And the Hereford Digest sponsoring second place are our reserve championship. Folks, our judge is done, and here are comments from Nakona Brost. 
Well, you guys definitely didn't make this class easy on me whatsoever. Um, five steers that are very similar in a lot of ways, different in a lot of ways. Um, m definitely made me struggle, that's for sure. Um, I started the class off with a steer, um, very wide over the top, lots of thickness in his hind end. I just like to have him carry that muscle down into the stifle a little bit more, um, but overall a very exceptional steer. Uh, the steer in second place is very similar to the steer in, in first place. Um, same thing um, except for him, I just like to widen him up over the top. He's very smooth into his front end, very, got lots of depth of body and, and spring of rib, but a steer that overall has a lot of muscle and meat shape as well. The steer in third place was probably my most troubled steer. Um, wasn't really sure where to put him, but a steer that is very big boned, has tons of muscle, very thick, really carries it down wide over his top. Just a steer I'd like to smooth out over that, that top line a little bit more for me today to place any higher. And the two steers um, rounding out our class, two very exceptional steers. Um, the one steer in uh, third, fourth place, um, I just like to put a few extra pounds on him into the middle there, but overall a very flashy steer. And the steer rounding out our class, just a little bit too big for me today, but overall another steer that has lots of length of body and overall thickness and, and depth. So good job, guys. Thank you, Nakona. First place and our Pine Butte Ranch, Hugh McLucky, Lynette and Logan Van Steenberg from Cranbrook, BC, sponsored champion is entry number 707, Fortnite from Jackson Lees. And our reserve champion, entry number 650 from Andrew Charlton, the addition to your class, not addition to your program, but moved from class 13, entry 650, Miracle is our reserve champion. In fourth place, entry number 703. In third place, entry number 706, Gray Fenton with Jack. Fourth place was entry number 703. Moved from the prior class. That's Gavin Fleck with Big Mac. And in fifth spot, Curtis Hewitt with entry number 706, Watson. So now our grand champion class. As they come Coming back in now, we have our champion and reserve champion, Hereford Influence, and straight bred Hereford. Hoser was our winner of the Hereford Influence Steer competition for Kaylee Wurst to entry 705, weighing 1,350 pounds, is our champion. Our reserve champion, Rocky, entry number 700 from Cole Hewitt, weighing 1,365 pounds. Our winner of the Hereford, the straight Hereford class, 1,433 pounds of Fortnite, entry 707 for Jackson Lees. And in second place, entry number 650, Andrew Charlton with a miracle, weighing 1,320 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our grand champion market steer class, sponsored by Canadian Junior Hereford Association. Our judge for the commercial and market steer show has been Nakona Brost, who grew up on a ranch north of Irvine, raising polled and horned Hereford cattle, alongside her parents at Brost Land and Cattle Company. She was actively involved in the Irvine 4-H Beef Club, as well as the Canadian Junior Hereford Association and the Alberta Junior Hereford Association, attending many summer events, including Bonanza, for years and years and years. She currently works full-time as a pharmacy technician in Medicine Hat, at Greg's Remedies, and when she isn't working in town, she's at home helping out on the ranch, or helping local 4-H kids with showmanship and grooming clinics, or judging contests and achievement days. In her spare time, she enjoys playing ringette, golfing, team roping, or playing softball. From Anne Brene Burgess to Larissa Lupel to Nakona Brost, it's been great to have these Bonanza alumni back. And now with comments on her final class of the day, her grand champion market steer class, here is Nakona Brost. 
Well, first off, I need to thank the CJHA and the CHA for asking me to come out and judge today. I definitely didn't think I'd be coming back quite this soon, but I'm sure glad to be back. And I do, it sure makes me miss showing and being a part of um, Bonanza's in the past. It was such a program that did so many great things for me. Um, and I'm so glad that it's still thriving and, and going forward. And a job well done to all you junior members. Um, so one last round of applause for everyone in the barns today. These steers have definitely been my struggle today, even though it was a, a small show, but I'm glad to see that you guys held on and, and persevered and were able to bring them out. Um, good job to you guys. I'll just pick two steers that I find that uh, have a lot of meat and muscle and uh, steers that really caught my eye when they first came in. So good job. And I will pick Grand first and then Reserve. Thank you very much, Nakona. Bonanza alumni coming back home. He might be a hoser, but he also continues on his winning ways. Entry 705 is our grand champion market steer of Bonanza this year for Kaylee Wursta. Entry 705 is our grand champion, our reserve, Fortnite from Jackson Lee's entry 707. Congratulations to Kaylee Wursta, entry number 705 with Hoser, and entry 707, Jackson Lee's with Fortnite. This is our grand and reserve grand champion, Market Steer, sponsored by Canadian Junior Hereford Association. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all she wrote for today at 405. You have a, an hour and 25 minutes before dinner and daily awards. Those will be running from 5.30 to 7. And then, of course, social activity and mixers tonight. One hour, though, and 25 minutes till dinner and the daily awards. The fun and the excellence, the celebration of excellence, continues at 2021 Bonanza, Canada's premier beef breed youth stock show.